Watford refused to budge. Boyd. Darcheville now. Kenny Miller. And Darcheville with a late challenge on Severin. It's going to be a change for Aberdeen now. Darren Mackey is going off. And on comes Stuart Duff, who once scored a winner for Dundee United against Rangers and had the temerity to do it at Ibrox as well. <laughs> Left Tannadice last season to move further north. And he'll, he'll, just go, sorry, he'll just go to the left midfield and up front. Jamie Smith will join Lee Miller. Kenny Miller still looking for his first goal in his second spell. He's been replaced by Demarcus Beasley, who probably would have started today. Uh, in fact, that would have been a cert, but he only got back from Guatemala yesterday, having uh, come on as a sub for the USA, and he set up a goal in that game. It's Guatemala too. Plenty to aim for for Charlie Mulgrew. He scored with a free kick. The mother well last week, but it wasn't that far out. He's not really asked too many questions this time around. A stumble. Beasley wanted the ball quickly. Derek Young decided that wouldn't be the case. We are. Miller. Jimmy Calderwood at the moment, when you're looking at the Aberdeen side, they're really lacking a bit of inspiration, a bit of spark somewhere, either up front or in midfield, they just don't have that. Normally, Jamie Smith, when he's flying, can give that. Lee Miller as well, he's got a good technique, they just haven't been able to use that today. You could also say the same thing for Rangers. There's a lack of quality. I don't mean quality as a player, I mean the quality that's going to open up a match. Rangers don't have that either. They'll have to find it from somewhere. Aberdeen are going to bring on Tommy Wright, signed from Darlington soon. Thompson. Turned away by Foster. Baguera. Young. Miller. Smith. The game reaching its conclusion, but are we going to have a winner at Pitodri today? And if so, who's it going to be? Foster. Thompson. It's won back by Gary McDonald. Foster. Bulguera stoops. Pedro Mendes for Demarcus Beasley. Oh, Stepped away from the American. You don't want to do that right in front of the Rangers fans. Both teams extremely neat and tidy, but I think they need more adventure. Looking at the moment, like both sides are quite happy with a point, really. Darcheville, Davis available. Considine, though, covering Boyd. McDonald now for Derek Young. No group. Duff. Broadford onto this. Weir. 
Which is not really going anywhere. I think that sums up the game, actually. And it hasn't really gone anywhere, has it? A lot of neat and tidy play in midfield. Not many chances created. It's still quite entertaining. Davis, Mendes, Darcheville. Beasley to his left. He's given him a bit of work to do. Foster's challenge. Corner for Rangers. Davis with the corner. This boy's head up. Davis tries again. Played by Severin. Thompson. Broadfoot. He's got Bouguera outside of him. And it's going to be another corner. And Rangers putting the pressure on in the last few minutes. Thompson's corner, and Langfield has spilt it. David Weir trying to turn it back forwards, and he stayed down hurt now. Jamie Smith's game is up. He's going to be replaced by Tommy Wright, who uh, started his career at Leicester, his hometown club, then went to Darlington, scored 15 goals for them last season. With a reputation as a hot end, he's had half a dozen red cards in his career already and had a bit of a tangle with Stephen Craigan last week at Motherwell. He's already a favourite with the Aberdeen fans. Lee Miller, Stuart Duff now. Into the last 30 seconds of the 90, Tommy Wright chasing Bouguera across. Tommy Wright lunging in. He certainly puts himself about. And Craig Thompson having none of it. Tommy Wright once managed to get himself sent off after 45 seconds of a match. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Pedro Mendes. There's only going to be two minutes of stoppage time. We're in it now. Boyd, Davis, Pedro Mendes, and it's Demarcus Beasley. Can he win it for Rangers? It's offside, and it doesn't count for Beasley. The flag is up, and it looks like one point and not three. Well, it was a good finish in the end. And you look at that there. Chris Boyd, yes, offside position, but that is not offside. The ball finds its way through to Beasley, who was not offside. And that goal should count. It's a great finish as well. Assistant referee got that one all wrong. The decision goes against the old firm. Stuart Duff now, Aberdeen looking for a winner. Duff and McDonald! And it's panic stations for Rangers. Wardfoot will dig it out, though. Darshville, Davis to his right. Darshville powering through the middle. <laughs> and there's going to be a yellow card here for Contadine. <laughs> it's a strange fall from Darshville. <laughs> Took him a while. It's just slightly late. Well, that is so controversial. Another decision from the referees. Thompson's free kick. The Rangers will feel hard done by. Unless they can snatch a winner now. Beasley in. Sent back by Weir. Off Onside, Davis, but he can't set up Beasley. 
and it's game up. Derek Young equalised for Aberdeen in first half, stoppage time after David Weir had headed Rangers in front.